For much of her life, Sharon Cauldron has been a caregiver for her children, her friends, and her parents. I had an Asperger's son, and then my mother got Alzheimer's and came to live with us. And then I had three relatives that had terminal cancer, so I juggled for about 15, 20 years. But now, Sharon is the one who needs care. About a year ago, Sharon developed a deadly blood infection that nearly killed her. When she awoke in the hospital, she was alive, but she had lost all of her limbs and parts of her face and tongue. When I tried to turn over the first time and my, my feet were too heavy to turn, and then I went to reach and my hands were black. I, it wasn't my hands. Just like that. Now out of the woods for only a few months, Sharon is moving quickly to regain her independence. She's receiving two bionic hands called eye digits from Touch Bionics in Dayton, Ohio. But these hands having, having mobile joints, being able to move, being controlled myoelectrically, um, will get her very close. You just have to keep pushing forward with the abilities that you have to make a difference for others and around you and to help the ones you love. For Sharon, the results are immediate. 50%. Yeah, keep going. That's better. Keep going. Yes, and now relax. Okay. Good job. The fact that her, um, her, her outlook is bright, she's very motivated, it's going to really help her um, train to be able to use these devices right away. Biggest barrier for her using those hands is going to be getting her insurance to pay for it like they should, um, which even with this set of hands, they have thrown up every roadblock. Um, they said, we're not saying no, but we're not saying yes either. They said it was just something they weren't going to give a predetermination on and that we had to make them give them to her and then bill the insurance to find out if they'd pay for it. Sharon will need to keep her positive attitude because she has a long road ahead of her. Yes. Somebody's just got to take it nice and slow and understand there's going to be incremental gains. Um, and that it's a huge adjustment for a lot of different reasons. And now, but right keeping a here. positive attitude is part of Sharon's DNA. I'll be actually able to, to go back and find another job and, and do things again, you know, because I'll have hands, <laughs> just like I did, you know, which is a-okay. <laughs> and then fifth. Yes. Yeah. yes. Yes. That's the real stuff. Yeah, there it is. Blow up the rock. That's what I like to see. Good work.